Welcome to another episode of John Boat Fishing Adventures. I'm your host, Tim. It's Thursday, September 20th, 2018, 6 p.m. Winds are out of the south, maybe five miles an hour, maybe up to 10 miles an hour. Water temps in the mid 70s still, I think. Yeah, 75 and a half degrees. And we're again gonna go out here and see what we can do. We'll troll a little, we'll cast a little. We got potential for king salmon this time of year. Smallmouth bass, northern pike, freshwater drum. There's largemouth in the harbor. So could be anything. We'll have to uh, just start fishing and see. So let's get the show on the road. Beautiful Lake Michigan. I'm gonna start uh, start off by trolling some crankbaits. It's what I usually do. I've had pretty good success. I've caught smallmouth bass, I've caught freshwater drum, and I've caught some kings. So we'll just, we'll start trolling for now. Um, the action really doesn't pick up normally until the sun starts going down. So trolling's a way to just look at the sonar and, you know, see what's happening. I got some crankbaits already tied on. I'm just going to use them. We got my, my, uh, my go-to baits lately have been uh, Berkeley Flicker Minnows. So I got a flicker minnow and a flicker shad already tied on, so that's what we're gonna go with. Check my knot. This is like 14, 15 feet of water. I got my, uh, I use my Kristen Bell system for bite detection. That way I don't have to constantly be looking at the rods back and forth. I'll actually, um, this is gonna go on this side. And I'll use this. casting rod on this side. This is actually a flicker shad. Seven centimeters. Just to let some line pay out. If it's too rough out in the main lake, I'm, I just end up just fishing in the harbor.
Yeah, these swells are pretty big for the little SS minnow. With this flat bottom boat, it's kind of like riding a knuckleball sometimes. You just, you're doing all over the place. Got a fish. Oh, it's a salmon too, I think. All right, I'm gonna leave it in there. I gotta get my other rod in. Let's hope I can get this in. Before I lose them. Still on. We got us a fish. That's over there ready to go. Oh, and I never, I never turned this reel around. Oh, I just spilled my pop. This definitely feels like a king. I wanted to turn my reel around, my handles around, so I didn't put so much strain on my arm. Let me get this net ready. Seems like he's hooked good. Definitely a king. He's pulling hard. Like I said, the chop, the choppy is better than better than the flat day. I get way more fish on the choppy. Look at that though, airborne. Did you see that? Oh my god, I hope I got it on camera. That sucker went airborne. It's going around the boat. Oh my god, this is a big king. Holy cow! He went airborne. I gotta get the. I gotta make sure I get away from these rocks. I gotta go out a little. He's still pulling real hard. I wish I would have turned this damn reel handle around. I just forgot all about it. But I got him. Man, this is a big king. Big, 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 big. I hope I can land him. But I'm just gonna let him get tired. It's too late, I can't turn my reel handle around now. I just have to deal with it. This is a six foot six. Ugly stick combo. A GX2 rod, medium action, medium heavy action. I'm just gonna let him get tired. It seems like he's hooked pretty solid. On the uh, seven centimeter flicker minnow again. All right, I think I'm out far enough. I can shut the motor off again. So we'll put it in neutral. Getting tired. I'm still fighting him. Make sure this camera is in a good position. Oh, he's going crazy under the boat. Out to sea again. This is a 10 pound Bass Pro Shop XL monofilament. I tied on a uh, 
a cross lock snap with a Palomar knot. He went airborne. I mean, he jumped three feet out of the water. Oh, he's making another run. Uh, he's going. He's going to be fighting this guy for a while. I got to stay seated because this is rocking and rolling. I don't want to go over the side. That would not be good. I just got to let him get tired. And I don't want to horse him in because these flicker shads, they're, they're pretty cheap. And they got pretty cheap hooks, the stock hooks. I'll probably have to replace these hooks after this fish, after they get, after I get it out of his mouth and they're all bent up. My God, and I wasn't really gonna come today because I, I was pretty tired. I, I actually, I worked my ass off today and I was tired and, man, this guy's still pulling. Why didn't I change this reel handle? I should do it. Watch this, I'm gonna change the reel handle out while I got a freaking giant king salmon on. First on YouTube. If I can get the damn screw in. I did it. Good. Because I got bad tendonitis and I don't wanna I don't wanna aggravate it. Oh my god, this thing is monster. I hope it fits in that net. I lost the northern pike Monday night. It was got you know, it was a 36, 40 inch northern. I got it in the net and it just it shook the spoon and then it shook the spoon and then I'm gonna move this a little bit. Oh, here he goes again. Oh my God, he's still pulling. Oh. God, he's dying. He's going, man. He's just won't quit. I got a 600 gallon per hour bilge pump. Let's hope I don't have to use it. I can get this light out of the way too. If I can't. Yeah, he's still there. I'll just move it over here. I got it on a ram mount. God, these guys look good though. As long as you don't go into the rocks. Alright, I'm back in neutral, bobbing around in the middle of the lake. But uh, this got to be a 25 pounder or something. I mean, this thing's big. And I got this little freaking rod. Let's crank the drag up a little bit. I'll be fighting this guy for 40 minutes. Here he goes. He's going that away. Flip around again. Make sure the piece is on good. If I lose this fish, I'm going to freaking cry. He's going, man. Down more. There he is. He's, I saw him on the surface. Don't go 
go in the motor. I think he's getting winded. Or whatever fish get. Oh my god, this thing is a monster king! And he's silver. Alright, here he goes. I got him! I'm not letting him get away. Oh my god, this thing is gigantic. And I don't have a, my scale goes up to 10 pounds. All right, so. Holy moly. I gotta take a break. <laughs> holy, wait, here. There he is in the net. I don't know if what the camera was doing while I was fighting this puppy, but man, he was on for a long time. But I played him cool. I didn't horse him. I got a. Uh, I tired him out, and I didn't have a problem landing him. Let me see if I can get this lure out. See if I can get him out of the net. And if he don't go totally berserk, I'll be all right. Grab him. See if get him out of the net. I want to get the lure out before I start handling him. Got to get it off the there. Now it's on my spoon. And I tell you the drawbacks of a little boat. Everything's jam packed in here. Oh, there it goes. It's off. All right, get the net out of here. The lure out. Yeah, I had him with. I had him with the uh, front treble hook in the right side of his jaw, and the left treble hook in the left side, and the rear treble hook in the left side of his jaw. He hit. They must have hit it sideways, or something, because I had both hit hooks in him. There it is. The little. I got these for $3.99 at uh, Bass Pro Shop, they were on sale. Look, look at the line twist though, too. He turned and turned and turned and twisted this line all up. I might have to start using snap swivels, okay? I know this body cam's going all over the place. This guy is a monster. Okay, so here he is. Let's see if I can get him up. Okay, Lake Michigan, John Boat King Salmon. This is Tim, your host of John Boat Fishing Adventures. This thing is a monster fish. King Salmon, pink belly. He's just starting to turn color a little bit. I'm gonna flip the can, I'm gonna flip it so we get the sun on him. Cause he's pretty, he's dead tired, so hang on. Let me get a better shot of him. Just gonna flip the boat a little bit here. Put it back in neutral, get him again. Okay, Monster King Salmon. This is Tim from John Boat Fishing Adventures out in Lake Michigan, September 20th, around 6.30 p.m. I came out here after work with my John Boat trolling crankbaits, Berkeley, Berkeley Flicker Minnows. And there's the result. First fish, first trolling pass out here, I got a salmon. So I'm gonna get him put away and then we'll get back to fishing.